everyone, it's Priscilla here. So welcome to the Magnolia March event. And today is Thursday, so it's my days. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, it's hosted by Nurse Laurel, who is Laurel Suzanne, and she is a talented crafter. And she does this every single year, and it's amazing. And I am so happy to be a part of it. As always, I will have everyone's link in the description box below. So if you want to check out um, everybody else's videos and also do the hop along with everyone else, there's amazing design team um, members this year and we are all having fun creating for this event. So um, Easter is right around the corner and I wanted to do another project and I will have a special announcement at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very, very end. But okay, let's get into it very quickly. Okay, so the first thing I created was this, and this is a little journal, and I absolutely love how this came out. So I feel like inside the pages are just blank. I kind of wanted to create it with that. And then um, I'll start from the top. So I created another bow, and I did the little bling that came in my design team kit. And then over here I added some of these pearls. Um, these are from either I want to scrap or they could even be Prima. I'm not even sure anymore. I lost the packaging. And um, I did use some of these doilies and I did the layered effect to make it very dimensional. So there is one, two, three, four, five all together. And then um, I took part of the paper line and I cut a circle out by hand and I laid that behind her. And then um, I colored her up, and this one is the Tilda, and she's the one in the bunny. I will have her link down below so you can check her out as well. And um, I think she is just so absolutely cute. And I did try Nurse Laurel's little button nose there, so I think it actually came out kind of cute like that. So thank you, Nurse Laurel. And then um, I love how soft and warm her, her little bunny outfit looks with these colors. And I added just my um, Signo to give her a little more dimension in her eyes and in her boots. And then here is another one of the little pearls I added over here. I added this little flower and this is also from the design team and or the package should I say. And another one of these little flowers hidden over here as well as three right here. And then here is some trim that I just layered up. And I also backed it with some of the paper from the paper line. And then I kind of made matching um, elements. So the next thing that I created was this. And it has a little bunny. And if you can see, he has a little cotton tail. So cute. So these are little pom-poms that I found at Michael's. Um, the paper line is the same as what's behind here. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then I cut out a little heart that says hippity hoppity and another flower from my design team package and this is magnetized and it just opens up and I have um, a little paper pad in here so you can do sticky notes and write whatever you want in there and then close it back up and like I said yeah it's magnetic so it won't open on you and this is a little small one it's a um, I believe like one and a half by three roughly and then the last thing that I created, which I think is my favorite of this, is um, I got the little stamp, the little bunny stamp, and I wasn't sure what to do with it, so I really wanted to make a um, unique little gift with it. So I did um, it in different colors, and these are my favorite Think inks, and I think this one's like bubblegum, blueberry, and I'm um, not too sure what this one's called. So I added some leaves, um, and then I put in another one of my little flowers from my design team. I also punched this out, and this one says, Somebody Loves You. And this is a Sizzix die, and it's like a little shaker box thing. But when you open it up, what I did here was I put, and that Somebody is me, I put some paper, and if you open this up, it actually reveals a whole bunch of little paper clips. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and I did all these. I put the little fuzzy tail on them, and every single one is backed with a little um, gem that was included in my design team. And there is a variety in there. So I think it's 15 all together between those ones and the ones in the front. And, um, yeah, I put acetate here so that way they stayed in. And you just push this closed. And um, yeah, I have three in the front and those are all paper clips and there's a little band that's keeping them in place and they just come right out. So let's see if I can do this on camera. Oh, there we go. All right, and then like I even did the back and made it all nice and pretty. 
All right, so you made it to the end of the video, and my big announcement is I'm actually going to be giving this away. So um, in order to be qualified for this whole entire package right here, plus maybe another good year or two, is um, you have to be a subscriber to my channel, and you have to leave a comment on this video. There's going to be a secret word, because I don't like the enter me's or anything like that. Um, I do want positive feedback, and if you put the word flower in your comment anywhere, um, then that will put you into the entry for this giveaway. And um, I would love it if you also subscribe to the other ladies and the design team. They're doing such an amazing job. I've been following the hop as well, and I love to see what they create. So yeah, um, thanks so much. I've noticed that I've gotten a huge jump in subscribers. I really do appreciate it. I read everyone's comments. Sometimes it's just a little hard to get back and you'll notice like three weeks later I'll answer it. But um, yeah, if it's really important or anything like that, you can always private message me and I'll get back to you sooner that way. So thanks everyone. I hope you're enjoying this hop so far, which I am as well. All right, and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.